Hi, good morning, friends. Today we are going to discuss about uh, blackboard testing techniques like a decision table, cost effect table. The second one is state transition testing. The earlier session where I explained about the blackboard testing techniques like boundary value analysis, equivalence class partition, and error guessing. Now we are going to see other two decision table testing and state transition testing. Okay. In general, first three which we discussed earlier, boundary value analysis, equivalence class partition, error guessing, those are the major techniques which we are going to use to derive the test cases. But in previous point of view, these concepts also you have to know it is. First one, a decision table testing. This one also called as cost effective table, cost effective table. That means effect of the application, how it going to behave. Cause if we give the different kind of inputs. So based on the given inputs, how application behaves, that is represented in tabular format. That is called, it is called decision table testing or cost effect table. It is one of the blackboard testing technique used to test system behavior. How it is going to system affected for different kind of inputs in table format. That is a decision table testing. It is one of the blackboard testing technique. Use it to test system behavior, the output for different input combinations in table format. A decision table is a table representation of inputs versus system outputs. Let us consider an example here. I have the employee login screen with username, password, input objects, submit button. Okay. So for this scenario, how the cost effect graph table is going to be, or decision table is going to be considered. Conditions here. So input objects are username, password, behavior of submit button. The rule one, username is not entered, password is not entered. How the system behavior? So it is also disabled. Rule two, username entered, password is not entered. Still, submit button should not allow to do operation. Disable it is false. Rule three, username is not entered, but password is entered. Still, submit button should be disabled only. Rule four, you enter the username, enter the password, then submit button should be enabled. Like this, the combinations, which are the different kind of input combinations, according to how system has to respond. This we are going to specify in table format. Okay. This is called addition table testing we are going to call. Next one, state transition testing. It is also a blackboard testing technique. It describes software may shows a different kind of response depends on current state or condition. Describe the software measures different kind of response depends on current state or condition Like a human every time you are not going to be same Based on situation different way we are going to respond similar application also Describe the software measures a different kind of response depends on current state or condition Let us consider an example application login screen enter agent name incorrect password first attempt so 
if it is invalid password you entered it should give some error message in case you give on the current password it has to access the application so first attempt assume that you give on the invalid or incorrect password we got error message again second attempt also incorrect password entered again to give the error message third attempt also we given the incorrect password error message so fourth attempt also we given so error incorrect password error message displayed along with once error message you close application also will be closed see same transaction so here error message only it has to display different behavior but fourth time also you do same time in sequence order so what will happen not only given the error message application also will be closed that's what saying my here it describe the software map shows a different kind of response depends on the current state or condition let us see one practical example So scenario here, login operation with invalid password. Case one, login with valid agent name with invalid password. What will be the expected result? Error message should pop up. In case two, login with valid agent name with invalid password. Expected result, error message should pop up. Case three, login with a valid agent name with invalid password the expected result error message should pop up case 3 login with valid agent name with invalid <coughs> <coughs> so invalid password the expected result error message should pop up and application should close let us see more here first attempt what is the first attempt? I am going to enter valid agent name. The password. Invalid password I am entering. If I click on OK. Incurred password. Please try again. As our expectation, error message displayed. Okay. Now case 2. If I enter the again valid agent name, again invalid password. When I click on OK, here also expectation error misses. Yes, error misses display. Third attempt. Again, valid agent name, invalid password. Click on OK. It is a, same error message is displayed. Now you observe that based on this state, third, fourth state. So when I am doing here, fourth state. So same operation, agent name, valid agent name, invalid password. When I click on OK, what is the expectation? Error message should pop up and application should close. Now see that when I click on OK, it is given the error message. Click on OK. Now see the behavior is changing here. At this state, login unsuccessful. Please try again later. When I click on OK, application also closed here this is what the state transition coverage we are going to call okay now another example you may see when you are going to you you are going to perform the Transaction ATM when you enter the first time incorrect pin it gives the error misses. Second time also give the incorrect pin, it gives the error misses. But third time also you give the incorrect pin. So it gives the error misses and generally your ATM will go to eat the your card. That means same transaction when you are doing. So in 
different states how application behaves we have to test it is that is what the state transition test we are going to call it describe the software may shows a different kind of response depends on current state or condition this we are going to call state transition coverage we are going to call these are the five blackboard testing techniques are there bound to analysis equivalence class partition error guessing decision table testing then state transition coverage these are the blackboard testing techniques thank you try to subscribe my channel for more updates bye